One night I was in a hotel room in Gaza, not staying with families the way I often do, and I sat down to write another news report about what I'd seen that day that I now know wouldn't have been published anyway. But instead of writing a news report, I found myself writing a letter to Americans back home. I'll read it to you now. Come to Palestine and see how your tax dollars are spent. Visit a hospital with me and see a boy with a bullet hole in his back. See children with scared eyes and legs that don't work anymore. A terrified old man whose neck is swathed in bandages from the bullet that passed through it as he sat in his home drinking his tea. Come with me and visit mothers of dead, injured, gone children, thousands of them, and tell them how you didn't know. We supplied the weapons that ripped flesh, broke bones, destroyed lives, destroyed lives. Talk to old women who are made to kowtow to Uzi Tony 19 year olds, who tell them, no, you can't go to visit your son today. No, you can't take a drive in the country. No, you can't go to the hospital and have your chemotherapy, your dialysis, your operation, and watch as they die. Come to the borders with me, invisible lines in the sand between towns that Israel has drawn with its tanks and helicopters and 200 nuclear weapons and watch the women with difficult births deliver dead babies and then die themselves at military checkpoints, death points, when soldiers with their ultimate power decide not to let them pass. Listen to these young warriors with their lethal weapons and deadly tempers proclaim, we've decided to close this road and if you don't like it, we'll shoot you, as we already have 10,000 of your countrymen. Don't look at us wrong or we'll shoot out your eyes as we have 28 of your children, we're not cruel. We have left 27 of them with one eye. Go home, Arab, and wait. And pray we don't decide to shell it, as we have thousands of those others who are in our way, with the wonderful singing missiles the U.S. gives us. Go harvest your crops, Arab, until we decide to bulldoze your 100-year-old date palms and ancient olive groves, your strawberry fields forever gone. Come to Palestine, Americans and see your tax dollars at work. Millions and millions of them, every day, every day. And weep with me for our victims and our guilt. And then say, no more. <laughs>